Okay, let's see if it worked. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Okay, eu não sei o que aconteceu, mas my phone stopped working and I couldn't see your messages. So, I'm here again. Let's see if this works. Alguém fala oi, porque eu não sei se está funcionando ou não. Hello. Hey, it worked. Yay. Okay, so good. So my question was, do you wear glasses or do you wear or use contacts? I use prescription ones. Oh, cool. How many languages do I speak? I speak English and I'm learning Portuguese and Spanish. I'm Alessandro. You remember me? Ale Alessandro, Ale Alessandro. Of course I remember Alessandro. No, I don't. I do use glasses. Uh, Priscilla, are they cute glasses? Are they cute? I came back. Good. Ale Alejandro, Ale Alejandro. All right, let's do a new question. <laughs> don't call my name, don't call my name. All right, so let's see. What's a, song, what's a question that you can ask? Um, oh, here's a good question. Now, this is using the verb to be. Thank you. I am Roberto. What's your name? Roberto. You're Roberto. Thank you. Um, all right. Are you wearing a hat right now? Are you wearing a hat? Sing it. <laughs> Are you wearing a hat? How do you respond? Mm, my lips are chapped. Mm. Do I use glasses? No, I don't wear glasses. I like your voice. Thanks. No, I don't. Listen to my question. Are you wearing a hat? Good, Michelle, Leandro. Good. Nope, I'm not. My sip is eh. No final de nope. Rodolfo, very good. No, I am not. I don't speak English, but eu gosto de você. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so are you wearing a hat? No, I'm not. Roger, very good. No, I'm not. Thank you. No, I am not. Good. Hi, Wesley. No, I'm not. Good. The question, excuse me, the question, are you wearing a hat? Are you wearing a hat? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. A cap, cap, é igual que hat, mas não é muito popular. Tá no, no, no texto de inglês, mas ninguém usa. Cap é tipo, não é formal, mas não é muito comum aqui. Cap, it's like a palavra que talvez meu vô usar, you know, usa. Um, welcome again, thank you. No, I'm not. Very good. So what's very important for you guys is two types of questions, okay, in this example. Yes or no questions. Two types. You have do, for example, do you speak English, okay? Yes, I do. No, I don't. And other questions, you use the verb to be. For example, um... Are you studying English? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm not. Okay? So those are yes or no questions. One type is with do or does, and the other type is with the verb to be. Um, oh, Fabio. Okay. Tá bom. Boa noite. Dormi bem. Um, tu estás quase sem sotaque. <laughs> It's not common anymore, correct. Cap is not common anymore. Uh, finalmente pensei que não queria mais voltar. I know, I'm finally here. I don't know what happened. Gleiton, Gleiton. Hello from Brazil. Gente, deixa eu falar alguma coisa que eu acho que é interessante. Quando vocês falam boa noite, eu sempre penso. Eu sempre penso que você está falando tipo tchau, tenha boa noite. Porque em inglês ninguém fala good night, except when they're leaving. 
So, good night é sempre tchau. A mais em português, às vezes, é tipo oi. And it's super confusing. Good evening. Yes, good evening we can use, but it's kind of formal. Or like if you're speaking to a group, um, you can say good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming. Assim, é, é formal. Yeah, I do. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Super formal. But I like it. It's nice. Okay, so let's let's think. I'm trying to think of more questions. Um, do you have, can you ask me questions and I can check your English and respond? So what questions do you have for me? Qual pergunta você tem para mim sobre inglês, gente? Não é só para, you know, chill, what's up? In Brazil, we use boa noite both for good evening and good night. That's good. I just, it's always confusing to me. Actually, when I speak, it's clear. But reading text, I'm I don't understand if you're saying hi or bye. <laughs> it's like it's it's like aloha in, in Hawaiian. Nar Narnia. Felipe, you're from Narnia. Roger, are you tall? Beautiful question. I'm not tall. I'm average. I'm five six. I'm average. Good question though. Excellent question. So right now, eu vou responder o seu pergunta se é tá em inglês, gente. Então, try. Antonio, how do your students learn English from you? Um, well, right now, I'm not teaching. I took a vacation from teaching. Um, but I, I, we use a textbook. I, we do some music. I... Um, We listen and repeat a lot of listen, repeat, listen, repeat, listen, repeat, listen, repeat. It's really good. Um, I miss English teaching. All right, let's see. Michelle, are you taking Portuguese classes or are you studying Portuguese all by yourself? I'm studying Portuguese all by myself, um, but I want to take um, private lessons. Aula particulares, I think in Portuguese. So, very soon I want to take lessons. All right. Dear Celine says, is your hair long? What do you think? Do you think my hair is long? I think it's like medium length. It's not long. It's not short. I think it's in the middle. All right. What other questions? Do you know your height in centimeters? No. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, measurements in, in Brazil are, are, you use metric, which is scientific. E melhor. Mas aqui nós usamos feet and inches. Então, eu não tenho nenhuma ideia. Um... Nivaldo fala, no Brasil, falamos boa noite quando nos encontramos e quando nos desperdimos. É assim também como um bom dia. Sim. Mas quando eu tô lendo aqui, it's super confusing. Boa noite, boa noite. I'm like, boa noite, hi. Oh, boa noite, bye. I don't even know. Um... I'm from Belém do Pará. Come meet my city. I would love to, Artur. You're falling asleep, Jill. I know. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm old. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hi, super teacher. Hi, Arthur. Uh, will me. Uh, okay, again, gente, para as pessoas que estão entrando agora, I'm answering questions. So ask me a question in English, and I will respond in English and Check your English. So, we love Do you like some TV series? So, um, let me help you with this question. Do you like some TV series? I think maybe it's better to say, what series do you watch? What series or which series do you watch? Which series do you watch? Um, or do you... I don't know if we say, do you watch some TV series? 
Um, how do I respond? What series? I love The Office. The Office. I watched The Office the entire thing, like all 10 seasons over and over and over because I don't like anything else. Um, what else? Oh, I watch, I watch one series on Netflix called 3%. It's in Portuguese. It's a little offensive, but Desculpa, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know I was tired. So 3% I watch. It's in Portuguese. It's it's very good. All right, let's see. I'm going to read other questions. Marie, estou aprendendo inglês sozinho pela internet. That's awesome. It's really hard, but that's that's wonderful. Hi, Arthur. Hi. What state you live? So, Filipe, you can say, what state do you live in? Mais uma vez. What state do you live in? What state do you live in? I live in Massachusetts. Oh, that's an interesting question. Form F form our game said, Miss Jill, do you prefer to educate your children in homeschooling or public school? Ah, cuidado com children, porque children já é plural. Então, não tem que botar o S no final. So, you'd say, do you prefer to educate your children um, at home, in casa, at home, the same as homeschooling, or in public schools? Uh, my children go to public schools. Também tem a opção, we have an option to do private school, tipo like Christian schools, but it's super expensive. So public school is free and public school here is very good. Um, let's see. Alexandri says, good night is different than good evening. Yes. Good night is always tipo ciao, boa noite. Good evening can be, é muito mais formal e tá no tipo introduction, like, good evening, YouTubers, thank you for watching my video, assim. Or, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin our ceremony, assim. My sit. Pode falar também, have a good evening. Tenha uma boa noite. Uh, have a good night, have a good evening. Os dois são correct. All right, let me read your other questions. Uh, Alessandro, Alessandro says, what are your plans for this year? Oh, I have so many plans. Um, I want to work on music. I want to... Um, I would love to go to Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, I want to spend time with my family. Um, I don't know. I want to, to be physically fit. There's a lot of things. All right, let me read your other questions. Kelly Santos follow. Good evening. How are you and your kids, twins and others? We're great. Thank you. The kids are sleeping, thank God. No, no, I love them. I want them awake, but they're sleeping and quiet, which is good. Um, did someone tell you your voice sounds like Yvette Sangalo? Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't remember. Que horas são em sua cidade? 9.13. 9.13. Nine at night. Um, please tell us the difference between in and into. Okay. Um, let's see. Mm, in. Right now, I am in my house. Okay. I'm in my living room. And now, okay, I'm going to put my hand into the couch, the sofa. So in... And into, um, into includes a movement. Does that make sense? I don't know if that was very clear. In. Chipu, I live in Boston. I'm driving into the city. 
So into includes movement. Movimento, tipo agora. Um, what do you recommend to be better in speaking? Luis, what do I recommend to be better in speaking? Um, a language partner. You need the opportunity to speak. And to speak with someone that can help you um, correct your errors. So language partner. Maybe find an app. Um, Italki is very good. But I don't know if it's too much money. William, my name is like William. Como se fosse em português? Oh, yeah, your name is, is very... Willamis. <laughs> William, Willamis. Um, have you ever heard about Brazilian singer Anita? I don't think so. I need to study more um, Brazilian culture. <laughs> okay, he said, everybody using Google Translation. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Usually, yes. Oh, Arthur, what means you rock? Você é top. Oh, Hedy Hotty. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Hedy Hotty. Sorry, Arthur. Um, and Arthur, presta atenção. Você tem que falar isso. What does... You rock mean. É tipo, o que significa you rock? What does you rock mean? What does you rock mean? Oh, Elcira. Yeah, the face game, eu esqueci no meu trabalho. Então, não tá aqui. Por isso, estamos praticando perguntas e respostas. E amanhã eu vou ter o game. I want to play the game. Mas eu esqueci no meu office. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Antonio Carlos, I love you. Oh, calma, gente. Meu Deus do céu. Uh, Alex, in Massachusetts, only life imprisonment. It's a weird comment. I don't understand. Can I use switch off? Or turn off always? Oh, good question. I usually say turn off. Like turn off the TV. Turn off your phone. Um, switch off. Switch off. I always say turn off. Switch off. Can you switch off the program? I don't know. I, honestly, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not explaining that well, but... I don't know when to use switch off. It's almost like we use it como uma expressão in English. Tipo, eu não estou prestando atenção. I don't know how to say that. I'm not paying attention anymore. Um, so uh, my head's my head's switched off. Like or, I'm, I switched off. I don't know. It's a little difficult. Luis, are the children sleeping? Com <laughs> certeza. Like switch off the light. Yeah, you can say switch off the light, but I think turn off is much more common turn off can you turn off the light i'm muito mais comum teacher jill in your opinion the method shadowing is good to have good pronunciation shadowing is shadowing like the callan method like someone speaks and you copy immediately because if that is shadowing yes um, I like you very much. God bless. This year you will make more videos and lives. Absolutely, Tiago. That's one of my motivations. Mm. What gospel singer Brazilians do you listen to? Okay, so you could say, which, porque which é melhor aqui, porque tem muitas opções. Então, which Brazilian gospel singers do you like to listen to? Okay, mais uma vez. Which Brazilian gospel singers do you like to listen to? Um, I like Alini. She's, I think that's her name. She's very good. And realmente, eu não lembro todas as nomes. I don't know all the names. I don't know. I really don't. How long have you been studying English? Your pronunciation is great. Hey, Josh Jackson. Well, I've been studying English my whole life. <laughs> I am a native English speaker. I'm from Massachusetts. 
<laughs> I think you might have meant Portuguese. Alini Barros, yes. She's very good. All right, let's see. Luis, Miss Chill, your skin is very good. Oh, thank you. Gente, eu não tô usando filtre agora. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh. I learned Reckless Love with you. Oh, do you still know the song Season Seasons? I don't think I know it. I'm going to listen to it, though. I love Hillsong. I used to think it's really hard to pronounce Turn Off. But now, after I heard you pronouncing it, it's not hard anymore. Yay! There's a song by Nelly Furtada. Furtado? So won't you follow me, follow me, follow me down, 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 down to you see all my dreams, see all my dreams. But she sings, it's called Turn Off the Light, Turn Off the Light. So you can listen to that, Nelly Furtado, I think. Um, turn off the light, turn off the light. Well, won't you follow me, follow me, follow me down, 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 down. O resto é muito difícil, porque ela tá falando muito rápido. Mas turn off the light, turn off the light, turn off the light. Thank you, buddy. Claudio. Hey, buddy. When do you come to Brazil? So, if it's future, right, futuro, tem que usar will. When will you come to Brazil? When will you come to Brazil? Valerio. When will you come to Brazil? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, so Jesus sabe, né? Thank you. <laughs> Why do Americans use gosh instead of God? What a good question. Well, in my family, um, we are uh, conservative, ooh, sorry, conservative Christians. E às vezes, God, tipo, oh my God, é muito informal, como usando o nome de Jesus, o nome de Deus, um, em vão. Does that make sense? Um, igual com, like, Jesus Christ, quando você, you know, bate na... Ah, Jesus Christ! É muito feio aqui, gente. Não pode falar o nome de Jesus assim. Então, em vez de, like, oh my God, we say, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. É um pouco mais educado. Sim, meus filhos falam, oh my gosh, or oh my goodness. It's polite, mais, mais educado, mais respeitoso. I think that's it. Oh my gosh, very good. I use that all the time. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Gente, eu tô respondendo as perguntas que estão em inglês. José falou which or what. Oh my gosh. So the which is when you have options. So like, which uh, which series is your favorite? Aqui você pode falar what or which. But um, which, which direction do I go? Right or left? Not what direction. Although what works too. I'll do a better lesson later. Sorry, this is not good. <laughs> Respeitoso. Thank you. That's what I mean. Good riddance. <laughs> Roger, what does good riddance mean? Um, good riddance is like, ugh, I don't care about you. I don't care about your life. So if, um, si, for example, si eu tô brigando com minha sogra, ok? Isso não é bom, mas só para o exemplo, se ela e eu tá brigando, ah, não gosto de você, você não tem controle na minha vida, tipo assim. Se ela fala, ah, eu vou voltar para minha casa, não quero ficar com você mais. Eu vou falar, ah, good riddance. Tipo, good. Have a good time. Go. Bye bye. So, é um pouco like... Um, quando você tá hum, bravo com alguém e eles falam, então, vou sair, I'm going home, I don't like you. Good riddance, I don't care. <laughs> all right, let's see, what are the questions? English is difficult already, Portuguese is very much right. Yeah, Portuguese is super complicated. 
Um, hi, Elcira. Welcome. Opa, boa noite. Sim, agora, gente. Ok. Will oh, fala, opa, boa noite. E eu não sei se ele está entrando ou saindo. Não tenho nenhuma ideia. Português is, is complicated. What genre of movies do you like the best? Mm, I like uh, documentaries. <laughs> I like documentaries. I like um, romantic comedy. Oh, I love romantic comedy. And I like mystery, like crime, crime, like who's the bad person. I love movies like that. It's very fun. <laughs> Portuguese is really easy for me, but it's like that because I'm used to my mother tongue. Absolutely. Aqui no Brasil seria vai tarde sogrinha. Oh, vai tarde sogrinha. That's how you would say it. Uh, good riddance. Está muito frio aí. Yes, it's very cold. So in English, is it very cold there? Is it very cold there? Yes, it's very cold. Jill, I've watched a teacher telling some expressions, and one that caught my attention was, it's for the birds. For instance, that corruption investigation is for the birds. Um, oh, man, I never use that expression. It's for the birds. It's like, it's not important. I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, or it's something that's so easy. It's for the birds. I don't know. It's very cold. Let's see. Good riddance. Já vai tarde. É isso? Ah, good riddance. Miss you. How you use have got or have gotten. Have got. Um, have gotten. Have got. I've got. So you would use it with a subject first, right? Like, I've got. Tipo. <laughs> é tipo, eu tenho. I've got. I've got a list. A grocery list. I've got. Many things to buy. Eu tenho muitas coisas para comprar. I've got. Or I've got a headache. Eu tenho dolor de cabeça. I've got. But you can say I've gotten. So I've gotten many presents in my life. So that's like passado e agora. Like all the time. I've gotten used to Portuguese, or I've gotten used to the cold temperature. That's very, very common. I've gotten used to. I've gotten used to. Oi, Linda. Let's see. Who said that? Praia ou ficar em casa? Ooh, praia. Let's go to the beach. Is it snowing there, Ange Angelo? It's not beautiful English. Is it snowing there? Perfect English. Um, no, it's not snowing here, but I think it will snow this week. Bianca says, I have a question. Okay, what's your question? Uh, I would love to work with Gavin. I met Gavin and he is awesome. All right, someone says, how do you pronounce my name? Gleiton Frieri. My, if I was speaking like an American, I would say Gleiton, Gleiton Freer. <laughs> the book is on the table. The book is on the table. I don't know how I know that, my old students. Hi, Jill. I wonder, and I ask myself, um, does that mean the same thing? I wonder. Um, no, different. I think it's a little different. I wonder, a chipu. Hmm, I wonder what time it is in Brazil. Pode ser like curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. I wonder what time it is. I ask myself, is a Como que é? I ask myself. I use this expression. É uma expressão. I'm like, so I'm walking to the store and I ask myself, do I have my keys? It's. I think it's a little more literal. I wonder, tipo, like, hmm, I'm curious. 
I don't use I ask myself very often. It's not very com not super common to use. Oh, Bianca, see my question above. Okay, let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Bianca, what is the difference between alone, on my own, and by myself? Oh, let me think about that. Uh, okay, alone, on my own, and by myself. Alone, by myself. Okay, alone is usually like a description, like I am alone, or I feel alone, or I like to study alone. Mm, no, alone. By myself is super similar to alone because it would connect with a verb. For example, I like to study by myself. I like to listen to music by myself. Or I like to be by myself. Um, so sometimes alone and by myself are interchangeable. And other times they're not. Uh, what was the other one though? You had three options. Alone. On my own. On my own. I want, uh, I don't know how to use on my own. On my own, pretending he's beside me. That's an old song from Les Mis. On my own. Um, like I'm going to do this on my own. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fix my car on my own by myself. Oh, that, that would be a very good video. I would have to think about that a lot. Thank you guys. So very good question. It's it's difficult to think about how to explain each one. Have you ever used Portuguese by accident when talking to Americans? Yes, I have. Um, they're like little um, little phrases in Portuguese, like eh, so que não né. I use that a lot. Like people will say something, and then my husband's looking at me. Hi, baby. Mm. Um, I'll say, so que não, né? Or I'll say, opa. Or, meu Deus. Like, little phrases in Portuguese when I'm speaking. Hey, Jonata. <laughs> All right, what other questions? What do you think about Celine Dion's English accent? She has a very good... She speaks English perfectly. She has a little French accent, right? Celine Dion's voice is incredible. But, guys, Celine Dion's clothing is crazy right now. Did you see a hope Adela? Ugh, I'm way too crazy. Could you send a beijo to my daughter, Karina? Hi, Karina. Beijo pra você. Kisses to you. Que Deus te abençoe, menina. Linda, tá? Karina. You need to do it by yourself. Tiago, what are you talking about? Felipe, do you play the violin? Do you play the violin? No, I don't play the violin. I wish. Please sing in Portuguese. I don't know much many songs in Portuguese. As so many you say, Deus e milagres, Deus e promessas, caminho deserto. But I don't know. What are some other songs? Mas que na terra sai de mim em frente que eu quero passar. Pois um samba está animado. O que eu quero é samba. I think I said it wrong, but. Where are, where's, not where's the kids, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Sleeping, graças a Deus. Adoro você e sua alegria. You love me and my joy, my happiness. <laughs> Sing, she's got you. Patsy Klein. I don't know she's got you. I know Patsy Klein, but I don't know she's got you. She's got you. I don't know that. My friend talked to me. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> My friend talked to me. What's up? What's up is like, eh, hey, tudo bem? E aí? Tu? I don't know. It's like, hi. What's the difference between Brazilian coffee and American coffee? I'm asking because I'm making some coffee right now. Brazilian coffee é muito mais forte, gente. Muito mais forte. Um, especially here, 
American coffee at like Dunkin' Donuts is weak, fraco, super weak. Brazilian coffee is like, whoa. Jill, you're an awesome person. I love you. God bless you and your family. You too. Mieri. Did I say your name right? God bless you. Miss, how do you, how do you American people pronounce already and always? Do you drop the L's by any chance? And when are you going to record another video with Tawani? Oh, Tawani Unana. I love my girlfriend. Yeah, Tawani Unana. All right, so already, already. I don't know. Give us a Asha. Already, already, all. No, I chipu all. But we say already, already. And we say, what was the other word? Always, always, always. All. Yeah, we drop the L a little bit. <laughs> already, already. I'm already ready to go. I'm already ready to go. I'm already ready to go. A little bit. Thank you, Bianca. The peace of God upon Senhor José. Eu gostaria de cantar com você. Me apresentei no coral de Natal e cantamos Noite Feliz para você essa Silent Night. Oh, nice. So you sang Silent Night at your church with the, with the choir? That's awesome. Um, someone says, prefere café ou chá. What's that in English? Huh? Do you prefer coffee or tea? Or which do you like better, coffee or tea? Coffee, coffee, com certeza, gente, com certeza. All right, Arthur. Good night, see ya. See, agora eu sei que ele tá falando tchau, porque ele falou see ya. <laughs> Good night. Tongue twister, ooh, tongue twister. Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That's a good tongue twister. Michelle, do you like sushi? I love sushi. I have not had sushi in so long. I love sushi. Miss Jill, how do you pronounce flower, floor, and flower? <laughs> I'm really, I really don't know, understand. Flower, floor, like como la flor is... É igual do que a última aqui. Flower de cozinhar. Flower, 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 flower. Exatamente igual. Mas flor, F-L-O-O-R, é chão, né? Flor, flor, flor. So we have flower, tipo, oh, beautiful flower. Flor, chão, flor. And then a última flower de cozinhar. Pão e coisas assim. Flower, igual que flor in Portuguese. Ugh, that was hard to explain. <laughs> the accent American is much more beautiful than the accent British. Say Asha, eu acho que the, the British accent is super, super beautiful. Very, okay, just, just cool, but my super attractive British accent. It's very nice. Floor is the same meaning to ground. Ah, good question, Arthur. Floor is dentro da casa ou building. Ground é a fora, sempre, okay? So floor, interior. Ground, exterior, okay? Very good question, excellent question. Bye, Claudio. When I see food, I eat it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> On seafood diet. Bianca, I relate with that joke. Do okay and all right have the same meaning. Do okay, does okay and all right have the same meaning? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys know the song? Um, I'm feeling all right. Uh-huh. I'm not feeling that good myself, no. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm feeling all right. So all right is like, I'm feeling all right. British accent is easier than American. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Is it correct to say I drink a strong Brazilian coffee five to ten times a day? 
it's correct to say, but it's crazy to do. That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> you could say, I, okay, I would say I drink a strong cup of Brazilian coffee. Five, or I drink five to 10 cups of Brazilian coffee every day. Okay, because this is there. I drink five to 10, excuse me, I drink five to 10 cups of coffee a day. I drink five to 10 cups of strong Brazilian coffee a day. That's the better format. Um, can you always understand when an English person is speaking or is it even hard for an American to understand? Almost always, almost always, I can understand a British um, person, but sometimes they have different expressions. Mas eu acho que não é tão diferente, tipo, português do Brasil e português de Portugal. Eu acho que é muito, muito mais diferente do que American English and British English. <laughs> the British accent seems to have an egg in their mouth. Yeah, I can agree with that. All right, Tiago, I'm weak. What does that mean? I see a lot of, I see a lot of laughing when someone, I see a lot when someone's laughing. I'm weak. Okay, um, literally, I'm weak. É, eu sou fraco. Mas talvez as pessoas estão falando tipo, oh meu Deus. Like, it's when something's so funny, like, um, like I can't breathe. Eu não posso respirar, meu Deus. Assim, I'm weak. Like, eu não posso suportar mais. If something's really funny. Do you eat pão de queijo? Oh, I love pão de queijo. Please, somebody make me pão de queijo. Tiago, where are you living now? Massachusetts. What is your favorite Brazilian food? That's perfect English. What? No. I got it. Which? What? What? Porque, tem que usar what agora, porque tem like millions de opções. Então, which is so pra like, which one do you like? Tem cinco opções. Which one? Ah, eu prefiro isso. So, you could say what? is your favorite Brazilian food. Um, I like coxinha. And I like feijoada. Ooh, so good. <laughs> Miss, do you like the TV show Friends? Oh, I love Friends. Friends is great for learning English. How long have you lived in Brazil? Eu não moro no Brasil. Eu moro aqui, in Massachusetts. Estados Unidos, for all of my life. Thank you for answering me. The peace of the Lord, God bless you. Thank you, Kelly. All right, Jane, she look, my eyes. I'm too tired. Oh, that's crazy. It's weird. All right, I need to go to bed. It's super late. And I've been live for like almost one hour, more than one hour, because I made two videos. Oh, my cheeks are all red now. I have sensitive skin. All right, guys. Are your kids sleeping now? Are your kids sleeping now, Arthur? Are your kids sleeping now? Yes, they are. They are definitely sleeping. And soon, me. Thanks, Marcel. I have an American son, and now we are in Brazil. Say hi to us here in Rio de Janeiro. Hi, Dozi Motos. Hi, hello to you and your son. Você fala tão bem português que parece uma brasileira. Oh, glória. Deus é bom. Deus é bom demais. Deus está me ajudando muito. Um, I offer go to a church here in Brazil, which the service is only in English on Sunday mornings. I'm improving my English there, and people are very nice. That's wonderful. That's so, that's perfect. Sometime, sometimes, sometime. Ooh, good questions. I'm going to salve esse vídeo porque todos vocês têm perguntas muito boas, meu Deus. Um, sometime, two words, like, oh man, I, I'm going to have to make a separate video for that. Sometime, like I want to go there sometime. Or do you have some time to talk to me? Do you have some time to talk to me? Do you have some time? It's two separate ideas. 
Sometimes, com S no final, é tipo às vezes. Like, ah, uh, sometimes I play video games. I don't, but just as an example. Sometimes, sometimes I play video games. Sometimes I go to the gym. Not enough. Let's see. I believe I can fly. Wow! All right. Where do you live, Roger? Look, you guys are talking to each other. Que bonitinho. Jill, is it snowing up there? No, it's not. But I think it will this week. What's the meaning of shade? Shade, um, literally, like if there's the sun and a tree and it's covering up shade. Tipo, não tá no sol, no shade. Um, but it has other meanings too, I think. All right, guys, I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. If dainty is teeth, why are the professionals who work with teeth? It's called a dentist. Dentist. Dainty. Dent. Dainty. Dainty. If, wait, let me understand this. Jill, if dainty is teeth, why are the professionals? Ah, porque eu acho que por causa de latim, né? So many of our titles come from Latin, so that's why, dentist, dentista. Um, but that that's a really good question. It's making my brain hurt, dentist. There must be another one. Many words come from like a Latin based, which is why you understand so much. All right. I like you too, Arthur. Bons sonhos. Thank you. All right, guys. Have good dreams. Practice your English. Um, oh, I'll try to read some more comments later. They're so fast. I don't know how to do it. Luan Fagundes. Interesting name. Teethist. <laughs> or teether. <laughs> like a teach, teacher, dance, dancer, teeth, teether. Or singular, a tooth. A toother, a toothist. <laughs> what time is it, please? It is uh, almost 9.46. All right, guys. Seriously, I'm going to bed now. All right. Bye, guys. Love you so much. Bye, senhor. Bye, 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 bye.